welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a chit chat get ready with me on this look here um honestly i'm feeling myself it's very cute um but yeah i'm gonna be talking about some topics um my dating life y'all like how's that going as well as like what's going on with this pandemic and you know other things in beauty so if you want to see my thoughts and my opinions as well as watch me do this makeup look please continue watching all right hey you guys so we're about to do a chit chat get ready with me i can't chit chat and do my eyebrows so i've already done them already <laughs> off camera because <laughs> i just can't do those things and i'm talking about some real life stuff so yeah but i'm about to get into doing the rest of my face but um pretty much so i just want to kind of talk about like my life and then you guys can like you know give your opinions down in the comments below um but i'm really much uh can't talk whoa i'm really in this phase in my life where i'm just like not settling if that makes any sense like i made a vow um January 2020 that I'm just not like everything is for me and because I'm always I feel like in my life I care for others and I like put myself on the back burner um, a lot of times and I'm not doing that I'm just not I can't um, I can't afford to I just feel like I've missed out on so many opportunities by doing that so I'm really putting forth effort into doing things for me um so and if you just don't fit in that timeline like you gotta go but yeah I'm just really in a I'm doing it for me and nobody else and I'm really really loving it but I will tell you um my life in certain departments are kind of lacking or are lackluster and not really going my way but it's all in God's plan so yeah but I have also starting in 2020 have been dating so y'all by the way I'm using the super stay by Maybelline um and I use 320 which is honey and I also use 312 which is golden and I kind of just play with them so don't mind me I use what is it golden no I use honey on like the outside of my face because it's like my darker you know little section of my skin but um but yeah so what I will say is that is a little bit lackluster is my dating life but dating in 2020 is quite trash because number one we're in a pandemic um <laughs> so I have to like question you on like what do you do like do you wear a mask because some people out here that don't be wearing masks and I ain't talking to you if you don't wear no mask for real for real if you out in public with the peoples just out here we're all facing it I just mm -mm, mm -mm. I can't do it so um but <laughs> besides the pandemic I mean it's online dating like I mm, I'm relying on like Tinder and Hinge like it's not really like fun so and then also the aspect of online dating some men that are on online dating don't want to date they just want to hook up and I'm not really down for that um not really I'm not down for it so yeah it's like it's sucking it's really 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 ass okay um i don't really want to cuss but th that is what it is it's ass and i can't get i can't get behind it on any levels oh and i also primed with um my milk hydro grip i did say that and i used the golden on the inside of my face because that's where things are lighter but um oh so yeah it's like it's just not really my cup of tea if that makes any sense like I'm not really digging it all the way and um 
I don't know. So, I'll have, okay, let's say, on, on these dating sites, I'll have guys, like, really, you know, after a couple of days, really express that they, like, they want to pursue me, like, they just think I'm this, that, and a bag of chips, and they realize I'm not on, like, I'm not on games, like, I'm not with the foolishness so don't try me on the foolishness type thing that's what i think people are realizing and then <laughs> i don't know and then like a week goes by and um y'all i don't even know i can't like even it's kind of i don't know it's not embarrassing because i mean the Clearly, this is happening to, like, other people in the world. But, like, it'll stop. Like, I had one guy. It was going really good, y'all. Really good. We don't want to talk, so I'm going to talk about the situation. But, like, it was going very well, y'all. Very well. Um, he was a little bit older. He's like, four years. Three or four years older than me. And it was just, I just, you know, I kind of, he wasn't like my exact type, but it was like, okay, not necessarily settling, but like my exact type is very shallow. Well, not really for me, but it could be for some people, but, um, so he wasn't my exact type, but <laughs> maybe God said, girl, you are settling. Okay. So. <laughs> It was just going really well and like his job like it, his, his job was a lot like he worked a lot and it became he had no time for me like the communication was just really poor and I'm very big on communicating like even if you are busy say you're busy and we can text like we can talk later or like just call like okay when you have like I don't know if I have to I honestly I really shouldn't have to tell men this y'all this would this is some tea for the men if y'all watching my channel this literally will keep a girl happy i'm not gonna hold you if you are like busy and you haven't really talked to like the girl that you're talking to or your significant other and like all day like your, your texting isn't like really up to par today but just to let them know that you're thinking about them like just literally call them we have a phone that has a feature that you can hear voices on, right, you know? Or or if you have an iPhone, you can FaceTime them for literally five minutes. Just saying, hey, I know I haven't been texting much, I'm kind of busy, but I still wanted to call you to let you know that, A, I was thinking about you, and just letting you know that I'm a little bit busy, but I wanted you to hear my voice. Or, you know, something along those, y'all, if a man did that, Yeah, I just, it's literally, I'm just a very simple girl. So that would literally make my heart melt in my, I'm like, okay, like, okay. Um, yeah, that, that would make me extremely like, like you thought enough about me to A, give me a call. Cause people nowadays don't talk on the phone. And, I mean, I don't like talking on the phone either, but, like, that's just something that's sweet to me. Like, I'm not talking about talking on the phone for two hours. I'm saying literally a five-minute call. Honestly, less than that. Um, just saying, like, hey, I ain't even doing this so great today, but I'm thinking about you. And I want to hear your voice. Is that too much to ask of? So maybe God was telling me, Dana, this guy might seem like he he is kind of what you want, but because the communication is just a little bit off, like a little bit off, not up to the standards or what you need and what you what suffices for you, and he not really on like my aesthetics, very shallow of me saying, but maybe maybe that was God telling me like. 
he's just not the one because it became I want to date you I want to pursue you right to let's just be friends with benefits I will not do that it won't be me um, so we ended that really quickly because <laughs> that's not what I the conversation that we had to begin with I, ain't nothing, ain't none of that ever come out of my mouth. So I don't do that. I don't know. I, I just, uh -uh. So that ended. But I was like, it was just going really good. And then one day, one morning, y'all. One day, I spent the night at this man's house. He fell asleep on me. That's okay. He got home from work. He was watching the movie. He fell asleep, literally. He felt so bad. He felt, this is why I thought he was good. He felt so bad, y'all. He cashed at me money for breakfast. Cause he felt bad for falling asleep on me. Cause we couldn't talk. Like he literally, like I literally remember his house. We started watching The Matrix, like five minutes in, I hear his man snoring. He was knocked out. So, he felt so bad in the morning. He was talking about taking me on a date. And he sent me money to go get breakfast. And it's the same nigga. Sorry, y'all, it's the same man. <laughs> Talk about let's be friends with Ben. Mm -mm. I can't even say the whole word. Don't ever, don't ever, mm -mm. Don't ever hit me up with that mess. I just say, you know what? That's not what I told you that what I wanted, what I was looking for. So we're just gonna have to end this chapter because I just, that's not, it's not, I, I'm on the thing of no settling and I can't settle for that because you're not ready to get your life together for me when all I'm asking you is for two simple things, but you can't do that. So we're gonna step away from this. If our paths lead again, then maybe, um, on a relationship or not even a, a courtship just court me that damn honestly that's all i'm looking for <laughs> and but you know you can't you can't tell you can't tell people on on dating apps yeah i'm looking for someone to court me most people don't even really know what that what that is y'all i cannot find my bronzer honestly i'm gonna try now um i'm gonna give it one more game which is like a week and if I meet someone new within this week and I ask you what I'm looking for, I'm looking for a courtship. And if you don't know what that means, then I'm out the game for a minute, okay? <laughs> I want someone to court me, to woo me, to persuade me that you see the potential in me, baby. So let me do what you gotta do so I can see the potential in you, okay? So that's what i'm looking for i'm not looking to get flued out i'm not looking for can that's a lot i'm i'm not looking for a lot of things that i guess my peers um when i say peers it's not, i'm not meaning my exact friends but people in my age range females in my age range of the 20 20 20 to 26 um, are looking for the I want a rapper and I want to get flown out and and I nah not with it don't want it so alright y'all we're back my camera died and I finally am now using my plug in um, camera battery so my camera will never die it's just gonna sit on the charger forever okay anyway <laughs> That was very lame of me, but I'm very excited about this. Um, but yeah, back to what I'm saying. Um, so your girl is not going to settle for the things that she doesn't want. If I don't want a friend's benefits, I'm not going to stay with a guy. Like maybe, a, I don't know, stay with a person because I want them in my life, but they're not satisfying me in what I want and what I'm searching for. Yeah, I'm not doing that no more. I established that. I can't. Sorry, y'all. I can't. I can't do it. I can't waste my time. Oh. Yeah, y'all. It just... 
this like dating thing is not quite ghetto for me because it's definitely like I just don't get it and that's just my little spiel on that after I'm, I'm done talking about it now oh also dealing with like this pandemic y'all like, how are y'all holding up? Because, like, this pandemic has just, like, I don't know. It's changed my outlook on people. It's changed my outlook on this country. I mean, y'all already know America got already sucked. But, and if you didn't know that America sucked years ago, um, I hope you realize it now. <laughs> I really hope you realize it now. But yeah, it's like, I don't know, man. It's just like, this stuff is crazy. Every day it's crazier and crazier. Make you not want to, I don't know, deal with people. When I'm using the Social Butterfly Palette um, by Morphe. But yeah, y'all. So, I just want to know, like, how are y'all feeling? Um, because the world in our country is very much so in shambles. In my eyes. Like, we're dealing with this pandemic. We're dealing with racial tension. We're dealing with, you know, all these people just being shot and killed for no reason and and then we're also dealing with people who are just like who want to act blind to what's going on and it's like how can you even I mean people can act blind because it, it doesn't virtually not virtually but like invert invertently not virtually invertently um, affect them but it's still like so I don't know I just every day I go on like Twitter and Instagram and I see another white woman you know either attacking and I'm not saying physically attacking me sometimes they, you know they are physically attacking people but um, when I mean attacking like just coming after people of color um, not necessarily having to be black people, but it can be Latino people, it can be Pacific Islanders, it can be Native Americans, all that stuff. Like, just people just being out here, just being out here wild. Like, you're literally bold, and you're showing that you're a terrible human being. As well as, okay, with the pandemic, not even the racial intention, y'all. Because I work in retail, and let me just give y'all my little spiel. Um y'all these retail workers don't want to be back at work okay because we're in the midst of a pandemic but because little do most average people who either don't have a job right now and are at home collecting a check or um you're working from home don't realize that hey when my job started <laughs> that nice little unemployment that people were getting yeah that stopped me because my job started so when they opened up the state and I had to go back to work. That meant my little cute little check that was more than the checks I was making anyway um, stopped coming, so I had to go back to work. Or I didn't have a job at all. So, let's think about that. On top of that, y'all, y'all come in here in these public places with no face covering, no mask, no, not a nothing. You're not trying to protect yourself and you're not even trying to protect me. I am an innocent bystander. People walking around the mall are innocent bystanders. And you can't do the simple fact of putting a mask on for 20 to 30 minutes while you walk around the mall and shop.
y'all and i honestly wish like it could be a charge on people who walk around i know this is, might be an unpopular opinion and i don't really care who walk around the mall with no mask on because honestly that's kind of like assault with bodily fluids because sometimes y'all be out here coughing and sneezing and letting your germs float amongst the air we're in a pandemic where the virus is airborne so <laughs> Sally Mae and Susie who don't want to wear their mask and say it's unconstitutional or you can't breathe or X Y and Z you can very much so can and if you can't then why are you out in public because this virus affects the respiratory system it just, just, just doesn't make any sense to me. But, you know, while I'm at work, I have to stay quiet. And I can't say anything. It's my opinion. Um, it might be unpopular. I don't really care. But that's my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. I'm gonna attempt to do the liner, y'all. Anniversary for my surgery is tomorrow. I think I'm gonna put this up tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I did a photo shoot. I wasn't in love with. Oh I have a whole bunch of sand powder on my shirt. I wasn't in love with the outcome of my photos, but um, that's just because me and I'm just awkward and I really don't know how to like for referral take pictures. But I found some cute pictures. I think I ed I edited the ones I think I'm gonna post tomorrow. One of the pictures I took is now my thumb not my thumbnail, but in my banner on my YouTube. So you guys can see that. That's really cute. It's really cute. I'm like, ee -ee. um. So yeah. Um. And I'm gonna be more consistent on YouTube. I think everyone says that. Um. These lashes are like my faves because they're just really bomb. I don't know. They're just really bomb and they're like, they are $5 and I buy like three, four, like I be spending like 30. Okay. Sorry, my camera cut off. Um, but I'm going to use my little fluffy, this is a Sonia Kashuk fluffy brush just to dust off the powder on my face.
again. So, I just, I've been going through my whole little life. But, yes, yeah, so I took those pictures. And so I'm going to post them tomorrow. And I'm excited. And hopefully, like, I break the internet. And the girls are shook. Cause it's kind of out of my comfort zone, y'all. So, if you aren't following me on Instagram, it's at the dot Madison underscore. Then you need to do so. Also, you haven't subscribed yet. We done talk this good little talk. I done told y'all about my little dating life, and you ain't subscribed to my channel. That's rude. Just saying, a little, a little judgment. Cause that's kind of rude. You gonna hear someone's whole story and you're not gonna even support them. Rude. <sighs> and I'm gonna highlight with my Fenty. Oh, y'all. We can talk about this real quick. Makeup related. Well, makeup beauty. Beauty related. You know, y'all seen Riri don't drop? Well, she about to drop care and it's kind of the video is kind of what's my I know Rihanna's above Kylie so it's really not like shade shade but y'all seen the the I am not wearing no makeup on my um during my video and I'm trying my products yeah Rihanna about to get all my money come the 31st I definitely be on Fenty skin, trying to get some Fenty skin. But um, what else I want to talk about real quick? Um, this is on like a serious note. <laughs> For the people that are watching, I'm having like a reaction to my nose ring, I think. And I really like this nose ring, but I don't want to take it out for real. But it's like messing with my skin. I have a bump on my nose and then the skin around it is very dry and flaky and I'm just not understanding. Okay, so I just line my lips with chestnut by MAC. Mm, I think I'm gonna do a liquid lipstick and then some gloss. So this is Milani's adorable color. It's like a a nudie pink. This just makes the lip combos snap. I don't know what it is. This lip gloss. They you, they have another one. I can't remember what's called, but that one used to snap too. Like y'all, I promise you. I know people like they don't like pumping plumping lip glosses, y'all. Elves plumping lip glosses. You can get a slight little tingle. It's gonna be like a little misty feeling, like it's kind of like minty. But the colors that they create y'all they snap i don't care they are bomb like i know this looks like a little milky white you're like mm. y'all this snap i play if you want to and they're cheap they're like six dollars like come on uh, i'll just put my wig on in front of y'all i don't really care about it If you guys enjoyed my chit chat, get ready with me. Also, let me know like what are your things that you're not settling for. I talked about me not settling and dating, but we can talk about just things that we're not settling for for the rest of 2020. Period. Also, what is your state doing in this pandemic? How are they helping you? How are you helping them? Are you out here wearing your mask? Because honestly, you really should. I'm just, just, you really should. 
like that's on the series tip you really should but other than that um yeah just like what are you settling for what are you not settling for um and how are you doing in this pandemic let me know as well as are you going to be getting rihanna's skin care line because i know i am i've seen the video and i'm like yeah we really take all my coins so if you enjoyed this video you guys please give me a big thumbs up also subscribe and follow me on instagram at d.madison underscore to see all the behind the scenes and to chat with me and all that jazz i love you guys so much and see you guys in my next one you guys have a blessed one